Hi, everybody. I have received uh, quite a few requests about uh, um, the pelvis, um, specifying the um, uh, various features uh, of the pelvis, uh, internal anatomy, external anatomy, uh, both for female and male. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm going to uh, prepare um, a few videos. I don't know how many yet, but a few videos to start discussing in depth the um, characteristics, uh, morphological and anatomical structural, of the male and female pelvis. So let's start with uh, some basic, right? So this is a female pelvis. Um, how can we tell? Well, we can tell by um, a couple of uh, a couple of characteristics. One, I would say, we we'll start with this, right? This is called subpubic angle, and uh, in women, so this is a female pelvis. The subpubic angle is um, much bigger than in men. See how uh, wider the, the the female pelvis subpubic angle is, and how narrower um, the male uh, equivalent is. Okay, so um, the the reason for this is because um, <clears throat> this is where the head of the baby will have to go through. I mean, not the whole thing, it's not open, of course, there is a um, pelvic floor, a muscle, etc. but the genitals are going to be, the vagina opening is going to be here. So um, <clears throat> the head of the baby will have to go through this space in here. Just to give you an idea of how um, uh, bigger the space in here, comparing um, male and female pelvis, let's look at this. See, this is a, you know, a tape, the same thing. thing. This easily fits through, right? Uh, if we look at the um, a male pelvis of equivalent size, uh, in height is the same, uh, we see how <clears throat> this is not even close to go through. It will not go through, right? This is, will not go through. So, um, uh, also, another um, dif uh, distinctive characteristic is uh, the ischiatic notch, which in men tend to be uh, more acute, narrower, and uh, in women tend to be somehow more open, wider. But um, more than uh, the subcubic angle and uh, the, um, the the ischiatic notch is the difference because this is more visible, right? The difference in ratio between height and width of the female pelvis versus the male pelvis. So. The uh, female pelvis tends to be wider in relation to the height uh, than the male pelvis, which tends to be narrower um, <clears throat> in relation to the height. Meaning, if um, we take the height, which is, uh, let's say, give it a value of one, the width of this uh, is going to be one and a quarter, one and a little bit. Instead, in women, it's going to be more like one and a third, if not more, right? So um, let's look at a few more um, um, aspects of the pelvis, right? Um, because um, I want to start from uh, deep inside and gradually move out, right? So um, in the male pelvis, actually female pelvis too, see what I did here? I divided the uh, pelvis in, um, in its three components, which is the pubic bone, the ischiatic bone, and the iliac bone. So um, these three bones, right? so the pubic bone is not just this, right? It's not just this part in here. The pubic bone is made up of the superior ramus, or the pubic bone, inferior ramus, ramus means branch, right? Or the pubic bone, and um, <clears throat> they, um, the, 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 the pubic bone merges with the iliac bone and ischiatic bone at the acetabulum, right? So this is all pubic, this is ischiatic, and this is uh, iliac. So um, the, uh, this inferior ramus of the pubic bone connects with the ramus of the ischium. So ischium is the bone you sit on, right? Um, so the... the um, um, these two uh, ram, ramai, ramuses, ramai, let's say, um, 
merge uh, and, and fuse together. And they together, they create the ischiopubic ramus, okay? So this is the pubic synthesis, right? This is the pubic synthesis, the joint between the two. And uh, you see all these tubercules and bumps, etc. These are all for the um, insertion and origin of muscle, okay? So another distinctive uh, characteristic of the male versus female is um, the um, sacrum. The male tends to be more curved inward, whereas the female sacrum tend to be straighter, all because um, that would uh, increase the lumen, the opening uh, of, the, of the bottom of the pelvis. So the pelvis can be divided in uh, <clears throat> two parts, the upper pelvis and the lower pelvis. And uh, the division between the upper pelvis and the lower pelvis is at this uh, rim here that is created by the anterior face of the sacrum, the linea arcuata. Uh, there are many linea arcuata in the body. This is one, linea arcuata. And then here, the upper ramus of the pubic bone. And uh, specifically, this is uh, where we find the linea pectinea, which is uh, uh, where the a muscle, the pectineus, attaches here. So um, what we see here is that there is a change of angle between um, this upper portion of the, uh, of the pelvis and this lower portion, right? So one and two. And later, I'm going to show you a way to draw this. Um, um, uh, but for now, just be, um, be happy with that, right? So we just uh, don't need to see everything all at once. So um, now, the genitals will be here, below here, right, in women. So I want to start um, showing you, as I said, I want to start from the skeleton and then uh, moving, uh, moving on, I'm going to start showing you uh, where the clitoris is in uh, <clears throat> the female, uh, female uh, uh, pelvis, right? So as we have said, this is the subpubic angle, right? Um, which can be summarized or can be demonstrated as in comparison to the, to the things like this, right? Whereas the subpubic angle in, in man is more like this, right? So different angle, one wider and one narrower. The clitoris, <clears throat> which is which is a pretty interesting structure, this clitoris is not just a little little pea size uh, structure. It's uh, this is the clitoris, right? I made this model, uh, this anthropomorphic creature, and <clears throat> and um, so the clitoris would be positioned here, like this, right? This area here, um, and the clitoris is made up of maybe a little bit lower now here, like this, right? So basically, what we really see externally, right, is um, just this, just this part in here. And over here, we have the prepuce of the, of the clitoris, right? But this is the part that is visible. All the rest is hiding there. We don't see it. So let's uh, um, see the component uh, parts of, uh, of the clitoris. So the tip. The, the visible part of the clitoris is uh, is the the glands, the glands, the the glands like uh, like the uh, so so the, the, the clitoris and uh, and the penis are homologous. They are made out of the same uh, erectile uh, tissue, but um, and they have similar therefore similar uh, tissue. So um, the glands is this equivalent to uh, the, the the tip of the penis. This is this is the body, and uh, uh, these are this one in, and this one are the crura, meaning meaning um, legs, right? That would mean legs, right? Coming down like that, and these two are called vestibular bulbs, right? So the um, the vagina will be here. And up here is the um, uh, urinary opening, right? So urinary opening here, the vagina here, 
and all around you here I have the labia right here like this and but we we will learn, we will uh, look at this later on um, more in detail so uh, what I want to do now um, I want to show you how to draw the pelvis from the side view okay um, I already shown uh, um, how to draw how to draw the pelvis from the front view in previous um, in previous uh, videos so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do it from the side view so um, let's start with one right I blot in it quickly. Let's a, a sketch like a ghost image in here just to make sure that, to speed up the production time, right? So, um, so what do we do? How do we, how do we decide how big the pelvis is on the side view, right? So the ratio height to width of the pelvis <clears throat> Is um, so this is a female pelvis, right? Um, is um, one to three quarters, more or less. Meaning, if I take one, I decide one how big that that is going to be, whatever that might be, right? Then uh, I subdivide this. Actually, let me do a measured job, right? Subdivide this in. Um, two equal parts and then I subdivide it again in four right I'm kind of eyeballing it now it's good I mean, that's a little bit bigger but that's fine um, and um, I take three quarters of this and then I position it here and now I have my uh, box okay so um, so let's see now. We set divide it also in half because it's easier to eventually position the various structures where they are supposed to go. So I'm drawing. Do it. I'm gonna. I'm going to draw this very faintly at first, and then. Uh, so don't uh, don't freak out if you don't see it now because uh, eventually I will. I will color it. Right? Now I just want to put in a, a trace about the pelvis. So. At the upper quarter here, I have the anterior superior iliac spine, right? At the upper quarter. At the um, lower quarter, I have the pubic bone, right? And then um, uh, from here to, let's say, more or less in here, I can draw a curved line, asymmetric curved line, right? Like this, where the peak of this curved line is not at the center. It's kind of a little bit posterior to that. And that would be the iliac crest, right? The iliac crest, kind of up and down, right? So I'm not going to put in the, the sacrum for now. I just uh, worry about that later on, right? So from here now, I can block in a, a, a curved line coming in like this, aiming for the center in here. So this is going to be a very schematic um, pelvis to begin with, but, you know. Um, so down from here, the pubic bone, I go down like this to show <clears throat> the ramus of the pubis. And uh, now I have here, position above the line of the pubic bone and to the front of the center line, the line that divides the pelvis in two, I have the acetabulum, the joint where the, um, the head of the, of the femur will go. Find the center of this once you establish that, and then do this one and two, right? Um, so this from here, from the iliac spine, I have now um, the anterior superior iliac spine. Just above, just above the um, acetabulum, I have the anterior inferior iliac spine, and then from here go over like this, create the the uh, this thickening, right? This thickening here of the, um, you see how it goes here, this way and that way, and beautiful, right? All these things, you, you're not gonna find them in books, I just look them up in the pelvis and then I say, oh, look at that, right? So you can do the same thing. You can find all these references on uh, on your own, right? Um, it's the way you read, uh, you read the pelvis, right? So now from here, I have now the ischiopubic ramus here, I like guess, right? And, um, <clears throat> Uh, 
and the ischium again the, the bone you sit on is is going to be here so uh, from here I have my ischiopubic ramus right and then uh, now back in here I can create that uh, um, notch right that notch that uh, the um, ischiatic notch that uh, we have seen before but I don't really want to put too much detail in there so I'm not going to put the ischiatic spine in here so this is the ischiatic spine right um, the ischiatic spine is important if we want to look at the inside um, or the deep muscles um, but but we don't need to do that so I'm going to leave it alone right and so now um, this is a, a very quick and schematic um, rendering of the side view of the pelvis the thing is that um, I really need I think I could actually let's put in also the sacrum right because now the sacrum we can put it in so the sacrum will go down uh, will go outside the box right uh, and then come down fairly with a, with a nice gentle curve like this in the female and uh, it's going to go a little bit below lower than uh, the um, pubic bone right so that's the sacrum right and uh, uh, we can also see how <clears throat> the articular face of the the articular face of the actually this is a male let me get the female the articular face of the sacrum which is here right under there um, starts oops the clitoris starts um, not at the same level as the top of the erect crest but a little bit lower maybe at kind of the level of the um, iliac spine right and then ends up here at the um, uh, ischiatic notch so it goes from here to more or less here but at an angle right it is at an angle so uh, that is going to be in transparency where the sacrum is connecting with the um, uh, with the um, iliac wing so um, why why do I want to know that well because um, what I want to do is the next with the next step right um, um, which I'll be preparing another video I want to um, look at the pelvis from the side but the inside view not the outside view because uh, I want to get um, to explore the organs uh, that are going to be in the pelvic cavity okay all right